Hi, this is Trey Pastor. They um, there've been some you know they're filming the Batgirl movie in Glasgow, and of course that you know people have been taking pictures and stuff because they're filming outside, obviously. Uh, and you know we've gotten some I think it's just two images actually that I want to go through where they you know they're talking about uh, you know they show the Michael Keaton Batman, and I believe this is a flashback scene because you can tell the actor is younger than this. I don't believe that's Michael Keaton. That's obviously a stuntman in this suit, but I think it's also a younger uh, actor. And this is a flashback because they actually also showed pictures. I think BatgirlOnFilm.com, I think that's the website that it, they actually been, you know, you know, giving you like the latest uh, pictures and stuff on the set. And they had J.K. Simmons over there and, you know, they had him with the red, they have him with the red hair and obviously they made him, you know, to look younger. And stuff, and then you see him with his then wife and little barber with him uh, interacting with Batman. And I think so, that's obviously a flashback scene. But anyway, uh, let's uh, just go through this real quick. And uh, the first thing I was going to show you the, the Batman's the Batman, the Batman suit from the, you know, Batman 89, which is this one right here. Okay, I'm looking at it on my iPad, right? That's why I'm looking this way. <laughs> Okay, and you know we you know love to sit with the yellow belt, the yellow emblem, and stuff. And of course, he can't move his neck. <laughs> okay, yes, it can turn completely around. But I always thought that was just, I thought it was badass, and I thought he just, you know, like a lot of people when I went and I remember Batman, you know, and I was like an event movie and stuff. And I'm gonna do a, I think I'll do a story about that, uh, the whole that whole day with me and my friends and stuff. I'll think I'll do that separate. But anyway, I love this, I love this suit, you know, with the. You know the you know the the yellow emblem and the yellow belt and stuff, and I think he just looks he looks like a badass. Michael Keaton looks like a complete badass as Batman in that you know in this suit. He just does, okay. And anyway, so uh, I think there's two images that they released uh, of uh, well, I don't think they released that. These people took pictures. Oh, I keep saying release because he's not a, a not official. So and I don't know if they'll take this down or something. I, have to, I hope. Well, I don't think I'll get copyright straight because I think a lot of people have been posting this. So anyway, uh, let's move on to the uh, pictures. Okay, hold on. I want to go to the picture. Let me see. And uh, hold on. Let's see. Hold on. Let's see. I'll get to the picture and I'll comment on it. Not that one. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Not this one. Hold on. Oh, you hit. Okay. The first picture, hold on, is this one right here. Uh, this is a picture you can't, I mean, you can see him, but it's partially obscured by, you know, people walking by. <laughs> but you can see uh, the actual, the, the chest part of it is more pronounced, okay? And you don't see, and obviously you can see from here, you can see his, you know, his, his bottom half, like, you know, uh, below the chest, uh, you know, stomach before the belt. And the belt obviously is all black. It's not yellow, like, you know, like... Like his original suit, of course, obviously, and so he just looks, you know, it looks more bulkier at the top, so he looks more intimidating. Actually, he looks like more intimidating, you know, which I I like that I like this suit because it look he does look more intimidating, you know, with the chest part of it sticking out, okay, and so I thought that I thought that picture was was kind of pretty cool, and like I said, you see these other you know these people as actually crew members, you know. You know, walking by and they're setting up a shot. Okay, so uh, let's move on to the next picture of him. I think you get a better picture. Hold on. Yeah, this one is a uh, a better picture. I mean, there's still crew members around, but you see a more clear shot. There's nobody. Well, there's people around, but <laughs> you can just see a better shot of him. Actually, he's you see more, he's kind of turned this way, and you see, like I said, I love the cow, and it looks like obviously that he can turn his head in this. This doesn't look like it's a restricted suit. Like he could actually probably turn his head. It doesn't look you know like it's connected like before. It looks like he obviously can turn his head <laughs> in this suit. And of course, like I said, the black the belt is black, which again I guess would blend in more to the to the background. The yellow belt, you know, I always like the color of it, but it kind of doesn't make sense. <laughs> and even the yellow emblem, I think would would kind of make sense if you especially you're gonna be in the dark when <laughs> the yellow. Emily would, excuse me, would stick out even though I like it. <laughs> but it does look, again, like I said, the chest part of it is more pronounced, which makes it, again, and it's, and the cape is like, like, pro, you know, like over, like pro, pronounced like over here. And again, it makes him look more intimidating. <laughs> and that shot, this, this actor, and I heard that this actor is supposed to be uh, the same actor that's, that's stunt doubled for uh, 
Ben Affleck than the uh, Flash movie, and also for Robert Pattinson. And, and I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I heard. That's one of the rumors I heard. Uh, so obviously, you know, which makes sense. You know, you know, if this actor is really good, stunt, you know, stunt actor is good. You know, why, yeah, keep using them. That makes sense. But again, he looks uh, really good, and I can't wait to, for to see those flashback scenes in uh, in the Batgirl movie uh, with him, with the younger, you know, younger Batman interacting with James Gordon. And stuff because I think this is just my speculation, okay? Because I know we know Firefly is the villain in the Batgirl movie, and I'm thinking that maybe either something happens with uh, I don't know if Barbara Gar Gordon's mother's die, maybe she dies be because something that Firefly does, maybe he starts a fire or something and she winds up dying or something, or I don't know if if Firefly is the one that actually kills his mo her mom or something. Because I know, obviously, we know that she, I guess, I think Batman inspires her in the movie and she be, she becomes a cop. And then maybe she gets frustrated being a cop that she can't, you know, like bad guys are getting away. So she decides to, you know, become, you know, adopt the Batman mantle to, to fight crime and do what she can't do as a cop. Okay, which kind of, you know, makes sense. You know, it's a bit cliche, but, you know, it's what it is. <laughs> okay, so... uh Again, I like the suit. Okay, it looks it looks it looks really nice, and I can't wait till we get a trailer for this, which, like I said, they're filming it now. So let's see. You think maybe by uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, maybe later in the year we'll get a like a little teaser trailer or something like this. But I think because remember you got all these DC movies coming out, so I don't know maybe by July. You think July they might have a teaser trailer for this background movie? Even though I think this movie is coming out next year, I don't think because they Warner Brothers has even though this is on HBO Max. Uh, I think we should get a trailer for this, or for, or for a Batgirl movie, I think, later this year. I think that, that would probably be cool. Okay, so anyway, uh, let's, again, let's, let's see something. I just want to see. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Let's see. That's, okay. Okay, this shot right here, I included this in here. This shot is, uh, uh, Barbara Gordon. It's another camera shot. You can see the camera there, obviously. Uh, she's standing and she has like goggles on and I think and she looks you know Leslie Grace I don't know how tall she is but I remember her and uh what's that movie the the musical that she was in I can't remember the name of it that Juan Miranda Mer made that she was in I can't the heights yeah she was in that and I always felt like she was really tall <laughs> in that movie yeah uh so I, I don't know if she's five eight or five nine or something like that I don't know if she's that tall but she looks really tall here in this shot and obviously this looks like a, you know, like I said, she has goggles on and it looks like she had, I think this is the, the, still the old suit that she's wearing this before she gets the upgraded suit. Because obviously I think during the movie, she's going to get an upgraded suit, uh, from, from, you know, from Batman once he, you know, he discovers her and sees what she's doing and stuff. And, and, but she looks like, it looks like, it looks good. The suit looks good actually in this shot. I mean, it's a, at a distance, but it still looks good. I know a lot of people were not liking, you know, that first shot that they released, but which I think is kind of stupid because obviously that's a homemade suit, obviously. She don't have the technology and stuff to get a, a real bat suit, so she did the best that she could. But it looks good in this shot. I like it from the distance, and like I said, she's wearing the goggles and stuff and stuff, so I, th I like that that look uh, for her. Let's see. I just want to see some. Okay, and this is the uh, suit that they released, the pic image that they released before, you know, with her, her standing out there, and like I said, it's a homemade suit, so... But I think it's... I, I still think it looks good. And Leslie Grace looks good in the suit. And I can't wait to see what her final upgraded suit will look like. Okay? Which I think is cool. I think they'll... You know, she'll get it, obviously, at some point during the movie. She'll meet Bruce Wayne. And he'll give it to her. Or me... And I also think... Uh, again, Nightwing is supposed to be in this movie. I know they haven't released anything official from that yet. But I know they, they said that... Um, uh, Dylan O'Brien, he was one of the actors probably auditioning for, for Nightwing, and I hope he gets the part. And I know they say he followed Le Leslie Grace on Instagram or something like that. Uh, I don't know about that, but hopefully that's a good sign because I, I made a video a long time ago on, on this channel about uh, I think Dylan O'Brien would make a great uh, um, Nightwing, uh, Dick Grayson. Uh, ironically, uh, America, what's that movie? There was a movie that Dylan... O'Brien did, ironically, with Michael Keaton, <laughs> obviously, who's Batman, uh, called American, I forgot what it was called, it was American something, but the, 
But the gist of that movie was that Dylan O'Brien, him and his girlfriend were like vacationing somewhere and his girlfriend got killed by a terrorist on the beach and stuff. And then he just, he just lost it and he joined this, uh, he joined up with this uh, group to, you know, he trained himself how to use weapons and all that stuff. And he was just like a total badass. He, he's, and I, I, when I saw Dylan O'Brien, you know, he grew his hair long and I said, okay, this is, I said, he can make a great Nightwing, Dick, you know, Dick Grayson. And hopefully... That will get that's come the gum true. Hopefully he does have a cameo in this at some point, maybe like towards the end of the movie, he comes in there to and assists uh Batgirl. Okay, which would be cool. And I know they had that mural um up there in, in Glasgow with you know, the Batman and Robin, obviously, and then I think it changed uh the, the image of the Batman changed a little different, but you see Robin is still there. Just they you know, they put more graffiti over the thing, you know over the, you know, over the image of Robin and stuff. So I'm hoping, like, <laughs> that he shows up when he hears about a Batgirl in Gotham City, that he comes, maybe he's in Mo, Moldavian? Mo, what, I think Moldavian, right? That's the place where he goes originally when he leaves Gotham, right? And so hopefully he comes back and he assists, maybe he assists uh, Batgirl towards the end of the movie, and you see a nice re reunion with Bat Batman and, you know, Nightwing and, and Batgirl. I think that would be cool, and then that could lead off into his... Dylan O'Brien getting his own spinoff movie, his Nightwing movie, which would be fantastic, and that's what I'm hoping for. Okay, but anyway, I like the images of you know there's two images of of Michael Keaton. I know that's uh, of his new suit or I guess new old suit if you think about it, right? Uh, and that flashback. Okay, so I, I'm looking for all signs are looking really good for this uh, uh, Batgirl movie. So I'm I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, let me know what you think of these images of uh, of Michael Keaton, the younger Bat uh, Batman that's going to be in this movie in the flashbacks. And I wonder if he, at some point, will he have donned the suit as as the older Batman? Maybe he will, maybe he won't, but we'll see. But I know, we know at least that he's going to be in it in flashback, so uh, we'll see. Anyway, I like it, so let me know what you think. Feel free to leave comments down below. Okay, um, I'll leave a link to Batgirl on Film. I think that's the place where, batgirlonfilm.com, that's where I, get, I think you get most of these images from. Except that last image, I think, which uh, the Batgirl image, which was, um, I think that's the official picture that it, it, they released by Warner Brothers. Okay, anyway, uh, okay, I'll leave a link to the Batgirl on film dot com in the description box. You can check out, you know, check out the site. It's a really good site. They're getting all kinds of good information about the Batgirl film coming out. Okay, and also I have links to my social media in the description box: Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Also, I have a link to my other channel, Love Views and Opinions. We check that out as well. Also have a link uh, down below to my Patreon, and I want to say a special thank you to my patron. His name will appear in this video somewhere. I want to say thank you to him for supporting me and always having my back. Okay, and again on my Patreon, which is only five dollars a month, I have tons of content on there, tons of unedited content on there. I have uh, the Mandalorian season two, the Book of Boba Fett uh, season one. I have uh, WandaVision, Loki, uh, Hawkeye, uh, What If. Um, I have uh, all Star Girl season one, Star Girl season two, Superman and Lois season one, Superman and Lois season two. Uh, all four parts of Zack Snyder Justice League, Titan Season 3, Doom Patrol Season 3. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to be doing, be reviewing will be Moon Knight when it starts on March 30th. Okay, anyway, uh, again, follow the link below to the Patreon. And again, please uh, give this video a thumbs up. It helps the channel, and I truly appreciate it. Please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can know when I upload new content. And this is Trey Pass, saying so long, and take care.